solving one-step equations. To understand why we do what we do, think of it this way. Wrapping a present. So put these steps in the correct order. And of course, putting them in the correct order would be put it in the box. We're going to put the present in the box. Then we're going to close the box. And then we're going to wrap the box. Now, if you give it, somebody gave you a present, how do you get at the present? You have to do the opposite operation in the reverse order. So, the, the last thing they did was wrap it, so we have to first unwrap it. Then we have to open the box, or unclose. And then finally we get to take it out of the box, or unput it in. So we're doing the re opposite operation that they did in the reverse order. So we, in order to do this, we need to know what's being done to the variable so that we can undo it. Our tools. Addition undoes subtraction. Subtraction undoes addition. Multiplication undoes division. Division undoes multiplication. And of course, the distributed property undoes parentheses. That and other ones are not covered in this course, but there are other tools available besides just the four main operations. Example 1 x plus 7 equals 10. What is being done to the x? 7 is being added to the x. What is the opposite of adding 7? Subtracting 7. So x plus 7 equals 10, so we're going to subtract 7. Now, we, whatever we do to one side of an equation or an inequality, we must do to the other side. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. We need to think of the equal sign as being the, the fulcrum or the center point on a teeter-totter or a seesaw. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other to keep it balanced. So now we subtract. Bring the x down. Positive 7 minus 7 gives us 0. And then 10 minus 7 gives us 3, so x is 3. Second example, x minus 4 equals 9. What is being done to the x? 4 is being subtracted from the x. What is the opposite of subtracting 4? Adding 4. x minus 4 equals 9, so now we're going to add 4. Again, whatever we do to the left side or one side, we have to do to the other side. And now we get to add vertically. x comes down, negative 4 plus 4 is 0 and 9 plus 4 is 13. Three x equals 12. What is being done to the x? The x is being multiplied by 3. When numbers are when the numbers and letters are backed up together, or letters are backed up together, it means multiplication. There's an unwritten multiplication dot between the 3 and the x. So the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So 3x equals 12. We divide both sides, again, both sides, by 3. The 3's cancel on the left, which is why we did it and we end up with x equals 4. x 
x over 5 equals 7. What is being done to the x? The x is being divided by 5. The opposite of dividing by 5? Multiplying by 5. So we're going to multiply the left side by 5. And again, we're going to multiply the right side by 5. Make the 5 on the left look like a fraction so I can clearly see the 5 on top and the 5 on bottom that cancels. And we end up with x equals 35. two-thirds x equals seven. So what's being done to the x? x is being multiplied by a fraction which happens to be two-thirds. What's the opposite of multiplying by a fraction two-thirds? Dividing by a fraction two-thirds. Wait, we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. Let's start this one again. two-thirds x equals seven. What's being done to the x? It's being multiplied by a fraction two-thirds. What's the opposite of multiplying by a fraction two-thirds? Not dividing by a fraction two-thirds, but multiplying by its reciprocal three halves. So we multiply three halves, again, on both sides. On the left hand side you can see that the threes cancel and the twos cancel. And we make the seven look like a fraction and we can clearly see now that x is 21 over two. 